Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So, <laughs> I was reminded of something today. I have been trying to record this tutorial. This is my fourth attempt this weekend. And I was having an issue with welding. It just wouldn't let me weld, which was really weird. And then I remembered that they did an update. A lot of times with the updates, if something's not working, I it didn't dawn on me to do it this until today, um, which is go back to the old canvas. So what I mean by that is click on your three bars right here and go to settings. And most of the time I'm always in new. I went back to classic, I tried to weld and it worked. Um, maybe we can do this towards the end. I don't really wanna waste time doing it up front, but I'll show you what it looked like in new and why I couldn't do it. So anyway, um, if you're having any troubles like with offset or whatever, a lot of times, like I said, some of your older features that always worked doesn't work anymore. Try switching it to classic and I don't know, let me know. <laughs> All right, so I'm done. We're in classic mode. Um, Spider-Man, 30 inches. I did this tutorial a bazillion years ago when I was first starting my tutorials. So I don't even wanna look at my old tutorials. Um, I will probably be very embarrassed uh, with just you know how it, how it went. So I wanna redo it, because I did it recently, and I wanna show you how I would approach it today. Um, this file, this designer, is not even available on Etsy anymore. So I looked before, because I know you guys always ask me for the same link, but I'm telling you, these designers go on and off on Etsy. So, um, but I saw lots of similar files like this. So hopefully, this one is so awesome because it feels very 3D-ish, right? Because he's kind of like flashing his hand out. It just feels really cool, like he's jumping out at you. So I love this one, but what's funny is, check out the name, it's called Spider-Man Many Pieces. The designer actually named the file this. <laughs> and when you look, all these red pieces are individual pieces. So we will definitely have a workaround for that. <clears throat> Excuse me, first thing is we're gonna make them 30 inches. So let's go to height, change it to 30, hit tab, and I always just change one. And then, of course, the width will change accordingly. So once it does that, I'm gonna zoom out because I don't wanna keep you know, uh, scrolling up and down to look at this image. And we'll let, okay, there it is. So I'm gonna scroll out or zoom out. Okay, so here's the file. Let's ungroup it to see what we have. Now we know the red, just from seeing this, it's in a lot of pieces, right? So we'll make sure to keep it together, but we'll look at the red, and then we'll look at each color to see how we should approach this. And this file is big. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deal with the red first, just to start um, working on the image so that it's not so many pieces, because I have a feeling you know how we should approach this considering it's like my fourth time trying to record this <laughs> okay so let's go to this spider-man okay so here's the first layer you can see i'm going to zoom in on this one because we want to really see the details okay let's look at his thumb his thumb alone is eight pieces from here to the thumb, it's eight pieces. I mean, there's no way we wanna deal with eight pieces, keeping track of it. Then, I mean, how are you gonna be able to figure out this piece in comparison to this piece? I mean, you're gonna, this would be a total nightmare, right? The way I would do it is I would weld these pieces. I'm gonna make the black actually sit on top of this one. So the red is gonna be an underneath layer. So all these spaces in between, we can weld them together and the black's gonna sit on top so it won't matter that there's um, red connecting in between these white spaces. So let's look at this thumb. I'm going to unlock this circle and make it kind of thin. Oops, that's too thin. Oh my. <sighs> All right, let's see what it does. All right, let's do that. So I'm gonna move this little oval over 
and I sort of want to make sure it touches everything or as touches as much as I can. But look, this now connects all eight pieces, 10, 11. It's connecting 11 pieces, okay? So we're gonna grab all of this and weld. So the thumb went from eight pieces to now one piece. And it's just so much easier to handle um, from cutting, you know, taking it off the mat that, you know, all those eight pieces will be connected together. It's easier to line up things because those eight pieces don't need to be individually lined up to make sure that they, you know, fit the right um, distance from the outline. Okay, what's going on here? It didn't let me weld. Okay, it's still thinking. Um, we're gonna try to weld this as much as we can. So it's gonna be maybe six pieces instead of the 100 pieces that it's in right now. And it's gonna take a little while, but like I said, this is really gonna help you in the long run um, when you're piecing it together, it's going to be so much faster. We'll reap the rewards then. Right now you might think, oh my gosh, this isn't worth it, but it is. The other option is to do the red layer as HTV because then you don't have to worry about placement, right? And it would be easy to, to weave. You would just pull off the excess and every little piece would still be on there. Um, that's actually a very cool option if you didn't want to weld this. Okay, so now our red is one piece. We still need to weld everything, but it shortened this quite a bit, right? Because now it's looking as one. So let's continue um, welding a little bit more. We're gonna weld the hand. So I'm gonna unlock it. I'm, my goal right now is to take you know, an oval and touch as many pieces I, as I can so that it becomes one um, easy thing to deal with. So here we go. Right, the hand, now the thumbs connected to the palm of the hand, the wrist, this is all one. I mean, I might just weld it to here so the hand is one piece and not weld this because I don't know how big of a piece this is, but we're, we're getting there. I'm gonna do the hand completely. I might not do the whole thing of red. Um, we'll see how long this tutorial takes. So let's do all the fingers. Although the more I think about it, the HTV is sounding like a really good option right now. Um, and you could, I mean, I did, this guy looks so good in person. I did everything in glitter, the red, the blue, the black, and then I did silver eyes. I think I would do white eyes next time. Um, but, he, so see this finger is now connected to the thumb. So the thumb and the forefinger and the wrist is all one piece right now. So as we do this, the hand's gonna become one piece instead of you know the bazillion pieces it was in so i'm going to unlock it right i want to make it so that i can fit this in here like so okay that's going to connect all my pieces so we're getting there as we connect so let's see this little piece is not connected to anything so we'll need to make sure But right now it's looking pretty, pretty good. Let's unlock it. Let's get the ring finger. Oops. Okay. And we sort of have some space because if you think about it, the black outline is gonna go also around the fingers. So if we went a little bit past this, it would be okay. I mean, we're not going to, but just in case we can. All right, this is looking really good. We're gonna unlock this. Okay, let's get it thin. So now we're working on the pinky finger. 
I'm going to rotate it like that and make sure it's touching all the pieces. And move it down just a little bit more. Okay. And then as we do this, um, let's connect this piece real quick. I'm going to show you another trick. Because you see the little cutouts here? We don't need those cutouts, right? So we can contour this in a little bit as well to just to make it easier on us. We don't want anything to rip. Um, and so that will connect everything that's connected. We'll connect a few more pieces. Let me get one more circle. Let's do this right here. And then we're going to separate this arm out from everything else. Oops. Whoa. What just happened there? Okay. I'm going to do that. Um, That's so weird. Okay, let's just weld this circle since it's not letting me do, it's not letting me grab this circle for some reason. What is going on? All right, I'm just gonna delete the circle. For some reason, it's it doesn't wanna work. Okay, there we go. Um, so we've connected everything here. I think we just want to connect um, this right here and we should be good to go. So that's connected. All right, so I'm gonna, oh, let me move this up. Okay, there, sorry, I apologize. <laughs> All right, let's make this smaller, turn this over, get this connected. And actually, I think I could do this. there. Oh, we still need to connect this over here too. Almost there with the hand. We're going to weld and then I'm going to bring in another piece. Let's bring in another circle. We're almost there. Um, all right. So this little piece over here, let's make this smaller and So that looks good to me. The only part that was a little bit small is you see this little um, diamond right here. It's barely hanging on. So I want to duplicate this circle and just make this so that I don't have to worry about that, about it being so um, fragile. Okay, so the hand is completely in, right? So let me make this a little bit smaller. And we're going to we're going to duplicate this, and we're going to separate it. We're going to go to contour, and we're going to hide all. And let's see what it gives us. And this is just like, you know, at the beginning, it's a big file, but we're working on it to make it better. And this will really help us when you go to cut the file. Okay, so here it is, let's see. It left the hand, perfect, that's what I want. So I'm gonna close this out. And this should disappear, but it's not. Um, okay, there, oh, what happened? Okay, so there is my hand. The hand is 6.3 by 7.2, not bad, okay? So on this one, what we wanna do is we wanna go to contour and we wanna get rid of the hand. Because we already have the hand separated. So now we just need to get rid of the hand. It'll be there in a minute. And then I have a surprise for you guys. So you know how I like to build my grid of squares, right? At the end where we slice up the black background. So I asked my friend 
if she would want to sell the grid of squares. And she said, sure, just tell me what I need to do. <laughs> so um, you know what? This will be easiest if we just slice this up. So she's selling it for a dollar. You could just use it for every project. And I will show you that in a little bit. OK, so I covered all the, the, the excess, right? So I'm going to slice these two items because it's faster than contour. Contour is picking up all these individual pieces. So I'm going to delete this and move this out. I'm going to grab this and delete this. OK, so you see what you want to do is you want to continue doing what we did for the hand. You want to do that in sections like maybe this part right here up to here and then his face and then his hand. You want to make sure that your pieces like this one is not going to be bigger than 11 and a half by 11 and a half because you don't want any you don't want to have to slice it. Um, you could, but there's no uh, would you? You really I mean, there's no reason why you need to do that. I would do it into sections and break it up like this. So let's zoom in and look at the hand for a second. If you remember, the hand was in a million pieces, right? It is now one piece, one piece that you lay down. The black's going to go on top. It's going to look amazing and it's going to look seamless because it is seamless. All right, let's go out and look at our other colors. We'll come back to the red. OK, so we know that's an issue. Here's our blue. Our blue is beautiful. It's in four pieces. We're going to ungroup it. Each one is going to be able to cut because each individual piece is less than 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Let's look. See, these are all great pieces. All right. This black piece. Normally, if you follow my characters, my black is usually the background, right? But in this case, it's going to actually be my top layer because the black glitter cardstock is really going to hide the seams really well. Also, I saw what a nightmare the red pieces were going to be. I didn't want to deal with piecing this together of over 100 pieces, right? So by welding it together, the red is going to be like the blue. It's going to be, you know, five or six pieces, but manageable. And then the black is going to sit on top. So if the black is sitting on top, I sort of need a black to be on the bottom, right? Like a full black background. Um, the background won't show at all because this black that's on top, I know I this is a little complicated, but it looks amazing and it just sounds complicated. The top already has the outline. So our black background, the only purpose it's going to serve is to be like the background piece that everything else sits on top of. And I'm going to say that that makes it so much easier to work with this. I did not do that when I did this two years ago. So all you need to do is it's really easy. You go, you duplicate this cop, you make a copy of this black and you go to contour and you're going to hide it all. And that's going to give you a solid black background. You can do this for a lot of times the SVG files come in with just this general outline. So you would you want to have this um, just this tip in the in your head because sometimes you're going to need to use it. So in a second. OK, there we go. So this is going to be our backmost layer, our blue. Like when we go to put this back on, let me move this to the back, arrange, send to the back. OK, so this knee goes here, right? Something like that. This one goes right here. So just imagine that these are real pieces, right? I don't remember exactly where this goes. OK, I don't remember. I don't I don't remember where these pieces go. Oh, here we go. Duh, the blue is right there. So I can tell there, right around there. Um, blue, blue, where does that piece go? This, oh, this one goes right below the kneecap. And then this piece, where are you? 
I know you guys are probably yelling at me. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Somewhere over here-ish. All right, let's go get our red. Just the hand, because that's the only thing we have right now. <laughs> All right, so this hand is gonna go right here. Right, so much easier with one piece instead of what it was before. And this is gonna be our most top layer. And it's gonna sit on top like this. So our red is gonna look amazing, right? Our red is gonna be, I mean, it's just gonna look with the black glitter, it's gonna look really good. So that's how this is going to work, right? So what's left? What's left is we need to continue welding all these pieces so that it looks like this. So hopefully we have like maybe four more pieces of the red and that's it. Our blue is already good. And now we just need to slice up our background and our top layer. So I'm gonna show you how to do how to slice the black background first. Okay, so here is this one. And it's, um, I am, okay, let's just, let's just build our squares. So here's our squares. We're gonna make this 11 by 11. We could make it 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but honestly with these projects, I really don't like to deal with half inches. So I'm just gonna put this one I'm gonna to go to the find position feature and round to the nearest whole number. So 29.3 becomes 29, 3.6 becomes four. The X coordinate is the one running across up here. How did we get all the way over here? Hold on, look at that. Okay, here are the eyes. Let me move the eyes over for a second. You wanna ungroup it. All right, so what we're saying is go over 29 units, go down four units, and this is the beginning of our square. We're gonna duplicate this square. We're building our grid of squares right now. If you put it really close, you don't have to worry about real math. You can just round. 40.2 becomes 40, 4.056 becomes four. Oops, not five, what did I do here? And I'll show you the math behind that. So this was at 29, right? 29 plus the 11 inches is 40, and this is at 40, so that's how we know it worked. All right, let's duplicate this square. We're gonna put it over here. And this becomes 51 and four. So we have three squares that are completely flush with each other, right? So hit your shift key, go over to your panel, and grab all three squares. And we can just duplicate the whole set so then you can just drop it down here. And 29 is good, change this to 15, then duplicate again this set. So now we have a grid of nine perfectly flush squares. We want them this way because it really helps us um, piece it together because all the pieces go up to the corners. But you know, think of like the easiest puzzle that you've ever put together. It's gonna be this because all the corners butt up to each other. Um, it, and it's gonna be as flushed as possible. So we're hiding all the seams wherever we can. All right, so now that we have this, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down until you see your guy. Oh no, that's not the one we want. We want the solid one, here we go. And arrange, send to the front. And we just wanna make sure that we're not slicing anything um, silly. Like I already see something silly and I'll show you that in a second. You see his fingertip? That's gonna be a teeny tiny piece. We don't want that. We want the whole hand to stay together, like maybe that, or maybe even this. So, oops, there. So this hand slices right here. It's one big hand. This body right here is good. Let's move this over. I don't want any slices right here. So here, I mean, this looks pretty good. These are all big pieces. We just didn't want that small piece. So now what we can do is, let me zoom out. You could just make a copy of the nine squares and drop it in to slice this guy because we have to slice this twice, right? The bottom layer and the top black layer. But since I'm gonna show you that grid, we're not gonna do that, um, I know. I'm all over the place today, but it's because I haven't talked to you guys in a week. I have a lot of stuff pent up. <laughs> we don't need this square. I'm gonna delete that square. 
slice one square at a time with the image. And we're just gonna make our way around spider band and slice. Remember that slicing is only two items at one time. So it's one square and the image at a time. The way it calculates how many pieces you pick up is by your mouse. What is your mouse touching? My mouse is touching one square and the image. As soon as it touches the image, I can let my finger off my mouse and it captured the two items. You don't need to get all the way close, as close as you can. <laughs> as soon as your mouse touches it, it's registered two pieces, slice. And you can see when I do this one over here, I'm gonna just barely grab that black. As soon as I touch it, I'm good. If your slicing is grayed out, it's because you didn't pick up two pieces. You picked up one or you picked up more than two. I, I haven't had an issue with slicing. I feel like slicing is usually user error. And then right here, okay. The other thing I like to do is I like to move all my pieces over. So this is here and I keep them in order because when I take this off the mat, I wanna be able to just look at my design space canvas and know what pieces I have left and where they go. All right, oh, these pieces look like they're all cut. Okay, so I'm gonna move this. Uh, no, that did, did that not slice? Okay, I'm gonna slice that. Okay, here we go. I just want that. I don't need this. Okay, this goes right here. This piece goes here. I mean, this helps us ensure that all our pieces sliced properly and that we didn't have any small pieces. This is all great. I'm gonna put this here and then I'm gonna grab this and delete. Right, so here's our Spider-Man. He's in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pieces. And this is our background. So when we tape him all together, we're not gonna see it because all these colored pieces are gonna go on top of that. All right, if you don't like building the squares, you can go to Creative Fabrica, I'll link it. My friend is selling this. This is what she's selling, this grid. It's already made to size. And then you can always just have it like I do as an upload. So here's my little grid. The only thing that you need to do is I would still, when I drop it in, I would still make sure that it's on a whole number because that just helps you if you make a mistake later, you can backtrack and know exactly where to go because everything is lined up on a whole number. So I'm gonna change this to 43 and 30. I'm gonna bring this guy over and send it to the front. And, um, you know, on this one, you could, you know, rotate him a little bit and see, you know, if that makes it easier in pieces. Um, I don't like how this is. Maybe that is best. Let's see. Actually, this is not bad because then the hand is one piece. Let's try this, okay? So here's this one. Oh, so you're going to need to ungroup this and we're going to slice one square at a time. Let me bring this back up to the front. Arrange, send to the front. Okay, so I don't need any of these. So I'm gonna delete that. I don't need this one either. All right. So let's slice this one. So this is actually a pretty good slice because it's now in, it's gonna be five pieces. So maybe we should have done that with this one, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, here's one piece, right? So that's gonna look great. And we're just gonna make our way around this. And these seams are barely going to be noticeable because it's going to be black glitter cardstock and see where it connects. 
right there. And you're gonna have the blue coming in over here. Let me see, where is that blue? Um, It's kind of hard to do it right now, but you can see like, you're not gonna notice the seams. This is gonna look so good. Okay, oh, and this one's already done. So this is gonna go here. Oops, uh, why is this? Okay, I need to delete that. <laughs> um, and just the head. All right, so here we go. And all of this we can delete. That was easy to slice, right? So um, since we still have a little, I think we still have some time. Let's work on this a little bit. I'm gonna do this, this piece because it's already separated. I'm gonna make this one piece. So let's zoom in on this one though because we wanna make sure that we are welding the correct pieces together. So let's, this is his foot, I think. Let's do a circle. And maybe these two pieces, I would just weld and make it one, but it'll be a smaller piece. Okay, so that's gonna connect a lot of it. So I'm gonna grab these two pieces and weld. So see the foot is all one. I mean, we need to get this little piece right here so that this all becomes one piece. So I'm gonna grab another circle and turn it into a slender oval like so. And maybe a little bit shorter, flip it over and stick it right around here. And that leaves just one piece that's not connected, right? So I'm gonna weld it, and then you can bring in another circle or something to get this little guy connected. But you see how that's working? And then on this one, maybe we could bring in a square and do this little section right here. Um, you know, it can connect this, so let's make this bigger. So you wanna do just little by little. I mean, I know it, it seems time consuming, but we're probably just taking like 10 minutes to do it, right? But it will help us later, you know, do another section right here. But you see how we're just connecting all the pieces? This piece is still pretty big though. It's still 16 by 23. So we need to split it, um, let's see. Yeah, probably I would do the face and maybe a, split this in half and then do this bottom half as one piece, and then another piece right here. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop it there. I'm gonna delete this red section because it's not gonna let me show you the make it, oh wait, will it show me the make it page? No, it won't. I'm gonna delete this for now. I'm gonna show you the make it screen. You wanna continue to keep that red on there. I'm avoiding the red so that I can go to the make it screen to show you what I'm gonna do here. So here I would use scrap paper and you can, you know, just in case you didn't know, you can move these around to fit, you know, get it really close together. If you remember the eyes originally were like this far apart. So you wanna ungroup it so that you can move it on the make it screen on this screen here. So this is now only like what, two and a half by two. All right, let's look at our black. Our black, that's a pretty full piece. This is a pretty full piece. All right, here we go. This piece is not that full. This one can be moved somewhere else. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the three dots, move object, and let's see if we can consolidate some. Um, we can definitely consolidate to 
this piece. So then you want to make sure that when you're moving pieces to the different mats that um, they're not overlapping each other. And I just realized something. The top layer, we want black glitter cardstock, right? But the back layer, we don't really care that it's glitter cardstock. So Design Space thinks that both of these are black. That is true. We should have made the solid black maybe a gray color just so that it cuts together because we don't want to waste black glitter cardstock on the back piece that no one sees. Um, so that would be something to consider. <laughs> All right, but um, let's look at the blue. So the blue, I think it can all fit on one. So let's go to the second blue and grab this piece and click on the three dots, move object and we're gonna move it onto here. So it looks, yeah, so one blue sheet looks about right. Okay, so, so that fits, okay. Um, oopsies. Let me move this out of the way. I wanna make sure my two big pieces are in first and then Let's see, this can fit there. Can this fit up here? No. I feel like this can fit though. I just need to work, work this. Okay, it's getting there. Oh, there. And in fact, I might even move this piece. Is this a bigger spot? Well, this little guy doesn't fit anywhere. I mean, he can fit here, but I was hoping to have like more usable scrap paper next time. So you can have this little corner for something, but this is a nice scrap paper right here, a square rectangle for next time, especially since we're using blue glitter cardstock. All right, we are done. I hope that was helpful. This guy, I promise you, is worth the effort. He looks absolutely beautiful in person. And um, let me know what other characters you wanna see, what other projects you wanna see in the comments. You can always reach out to me through Instagram or Facebook um, and email as well. It's anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. See you guys.